everyone, Christina Brown with the Brown Team. It is that time of year that we are talking about Christmas and New Year's and holiday decorations and all of that. So are homes really selling this time of year? Yes, 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 yes. We are really busy even this time of year and right now. So definitely still a great time to sell. So I thought a great timely tip Something to talk about today would be staging your home for selling during the holiday season. So let me give you some tips on maybe what to do, what not to do, and so forth. If you are thinking in these terms, I think it will really help guide some of your decisions in staging. So remember the point with staging is to show off your house, not your amazing decorating skills, or your really cool gingerbread collections or whatever it is that you have that you're used to putting out. Remember, you need to look at things differently if you're looking at selling your home during this time of year. Even in any other time of year, we say you live in your house differently than when you're selling your house. Well, the same applies to having your Christmas decorations everywhere. Really be thinking, you want buyers to be able to envision themselves, their families, their Christmas decorations and so forth in your home. So the best way to do that is to show off the home's features, not your amazing Christmas collections. And let's talk about some tips. So tip number one, don't ignore the outside. Buyers will start to size up your house from the outside before they even go in. Keep those yard decorations to a minimum. Outdoor lights are great, but don't go overkill and have them everywhere. Again, just remember if you're selling, less is more keep it simple. So that leads into curb appeal. Curb appeal is a little bit different now than let's say spring and summer. Your lawn may not be so green anymore. Your flowers may not be in bloom. However, a way you can really attract them with curb appeal is making sure that the leaves are picked up or that the sidewalks are clear, that the bushes are trimmed. Just let them see that you're taking really good care of everything. And then to throw some pops and make it nice and interesting, you can have a pot of mom or maybe an evergreen and a pot by your front door. But again, just keep it simple. That leads us to the front door. A nice little mat right at the front door that's bright and fresh. A nice little simple classy wreath and that's really all you need. Let's move inside. So number one, you can pile on with the decorations and rearrange your furniture and make it look ooh la la amazing, but none of that matters if it's dirty. So my number one tip inside always first is do a deep cleaning. Wipe those cobwebs, make sure your decorations aren't dusty. Wipe down walls, baseboards. Like this is a great time of year to do some really good cleaning before you decorate and rearrange and stage for the holidays. So again, inside minimal decorations are key. Do not have your collections everywhere inside your home. You might have some super cool stuff and all those light up, blow up, whatever things that your grandkids love. Keep it to just a few minimal to make them happy, but you don't want them everywhere. We don't want all that in pictures either. The other thing you have to be really careful of is your mantle. So you might have 30 stockings hanging and monogram for your grandkids and a picture above each one. That is too personal and it is going to make it so hard for buyers to imagine themselves. So keep it simple. Maybe wait to hang up the stockings till it gets a little closer to Christmas. Just really keep everything at a minimal. You want them to see that mantle and envision what they're used to having up there. And then when you're doing your holiday decorations, think in terms of if you're going to put something up, like in this corner, like a tree, then you might need to take something out of the room. Remove some things to make room for some decor, right? We don't want the old decor plus Christmas decor all together. So think about really minimalizing what's in the room. And then the other thing is pay attention to smell. Smell always matters any time of year, but this time of year, pay extra attention to some of those holiday smells that might make people feel more welcome. So if you have a real tree, your home is already probably gonna smell amazing. If you have a fake tree, we tell people, you can go to a tree yard where they sell real trees and get like some broken off spare branches and stuff those in there and make your tree smell like a real tree. Baked goods, we always say, are a great way too. So people love baked goods and they love smelling them this time of year. But again, like everything else, do not overdo it. And then the other thing that is huge, add some heat.
heat, right? Don't make it cold. Don't make buyers freeze when they're in your house. Think, you know, it is winter. You're gonna have more layers, heavier shoes. There might be snow on the ground. Could be super windy and they're just trying to hurry up and get it out of the elements. So make it warm and cozy in your house. Make sure that furnace is turned up to a nice level that people want to spend time there. But the other thing to think about too, while you're cozying it up, is have something that they can sit on when they come in the front door. If they have to come in, they have boots covered with snow, give them something to sit on to remove those boots and scarves and hats and something to lay that on so they can then go walk around and enjoy your home. So it is that time of year, you have to be thinking in terms like that. Just remember, we are here to answer your questions. This is a tough time of year to remember how much is too much, how much is not enough. Should you decorate for Christmas? I think as long as you can remember these rules and keep it simple. So just remember, if you have questions, or you want to speak with our stager, or you want to have our stager come out, teaming up with a real estate professional like us is key. But the market is moving, things are still selling, super strong. So give us a holler, hope this helps. Have a great day, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.